This program is brought to you by Scale Autos Hobbies. The funnest shop in town. G'day fellas, I'm back and welcome to another kit review. Okay, this one was sponsored by um, the guys at Scale Auto's Hobbies and wow, I mean Shane knows I do this for a living, this is what I do, I don't, do I just build models, I actually drive these things, I drive concrete trucks in Australia, so, which is why I don't get a lot of time to making videos, so I do apologise for that, I'm always in this thing, and so yeah, it's it's a kit that I've been chasing for quite some time. Um, every time I went looking for this kit online, it's because apparently they weren't making these anymore. But this is a repop, so AMT. Um, it's a have yeah done this again. They've released them, so we've got our hands on one. So and they were just stupid prices, but yeah, I was this was really nicely just. Hi Shane, and thank you very much to the guys at Scale Auto's Hobbies here in Mackay. Um, so yeah, the box art, it's still in the shrink wrap, as you can see. I haven't even opened this yet. I've had this for maybe ooh, less than a week, but I've been trying to find the right time to do this video, and today um, is it. So looking at the looking at the box art, um, okay, I'm just trying to use my, um, to zoom out a bit. Okay, so you can see that it comes with a Cummins six-cylinder engine um, and a turbocharged, turbocharged mixer drive gearbox and Firestone Floater super wide front tyres. So there's just an extra wide front tyre, but yeah, it's a 6x4 configuration for the AG drivers out there. It's a six-wheeler, um, but it's an American spec vehicle, so I'm thinking about if you want to see building this, this is something, it's it's going to be coming up pretty cool because I'm really excited to build this and I'm trying to sort of get away from the the armour for a while. just want to build other stuff and sort of liven up my, liven up my interest again because it has been a bit uh, bit dry. So on the front, we see the, well, I'm just reading it here. It says optional front mounted hydro um, stat mixer drive. Okay, so, um, and I'm going to talk through with some of the difference between American mixer and an Australian mixer, um, and also if you want a tour of actually the truck or driver at work, I'd be more than happy to, it's really cool. Um, we've got a movable folding delivery chute, so, which is what blows me away um, between the Aussie mixers and the American mixers, just how that the chutes are completely different in the way they work. Okay, so the two short sides is basically what you see on the front. And on the back of the box, um, they give you the sprue layer, okay, and I'm really, this is, you could say I'm a AMT virgin, like I've never built an AMT kit in my life, um, it's always been the other, the other brands that you see in my stash and stuff, um, so yeah, this will be new to me, so let's, without talking any more, let's get this box open, okay, so we're just going to carefully open up with our Friskers hobby knife, and these hobby knives are really cool. Love this thing, okay? He's got a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. And the Aussies, I get it from Spotlight, if you're interested. Not sponsored by Spotlight or anything, or Friskers, but it's just a really comfortable rubber-handled um, hobby knife. And let's crack the box open. Ooh, it's a nice build box, too. It's not as... I thought it would have been more glossy, but it's more of a matte, semi-matte finish, sort of thing. Alright, so, oh, look at this. Bit of cardboard, and like I said, I've never, never owned, or never bought, or even built an AMT kit. <coughs> so, yeah, this is new. Didn't realise they had the cardboard in there. So, we've, we're greeted with the, <coughs> all the chrome parts. More chrome parts. Yep. Typical Kenworth front grill hasn't really changed in over the years, even in Australia. 
Um, but we're just going to unbag it all. Alright, so let's take a look at the instructions. I've already just had a quick sneaky look at them. Alright, so... Big fold-out page. It's actually... Yeah, it's like... Pretty big. Look at A... About A2 size. So this will be an A2 size instruction sheet. And a little bit on the top where the AMT logo is. And it's it's all it says is just have... Have a read instructions, understand them, plan your build, and just what to do. Like, mostly how to build a model, like um, styrene plastic, use um, only paint and cement made for styrene in case they've used anything that's not made, it's going to eat it and destroy it, and things like that. Okay, and on the back, the very back, well, it's not, not the very back page, all you do is just flip it over. There's a quick paint guide, okay, there's no brands like we like all the new kits we have today, it's just the generic colors if you want to build the kit um, as it is on the box, okay? So if you want to build your own custom colors, you either do your own custom colors, you're either going to go through your paint stash or you're going to have to plan your, plan what colors you want to do and obviously go buy them you know, at, at a later date. Or probably at the start too because you need to paint it while you build. My bad. Okay, so... Um, it's all broken down in sections, so um, I'm actually going to sort of get through this pretty quick because there's a lot to get through. Um, we have the engine, okay, so it's actually quite a few parts to the engine, probably at least, um, it's going to at least 30, 31, okay, so you at least got about 31 parts to, um, to this model or to the engine section. Okay, wheels, okay. And then easy identify parts, numbers, use instructions, see national numbers are shown on the parts drawing on the bottom of the box. So there's your parts. If you're not sure, parts sprue, there's a part missing off the sprue or something, just go to the, or look here, or either to the back of the box, as they're saying, which is, I showed you at the start of the video, the sprue maps on, is on the back of the box, on the bottom side. Okay, so yeah, just use that. That's all they're saying. Okay, there's your wheels. Uh, basic chassis, so if you want to run airlines or anything from your brake boosters or anything like that, you're going to have to do that. Um, front axles, okay, and then you have all your rear drive trains, engine to chassis, I'm only just reading what it says there guys too, so um, interior, which is your seats, okay, airlifts, oh, your, your rams for your seat, uh, we've got pivot arms, okay, so, and then we have just more than two, like the floor, um, where the accelerator pedal and all that stuff is, um, gear shifters, steering wheel, you know, all that sort of stuff. The fan even has a old school fan. Be careful with replace replacement of the fan, as not to interfere with proper installation on the windshield. Okay, so it's good that they say that because if you just slap it in there and later on you go, oops, put the windshield and you probably put it too far and it's going to touch. So I'd say, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whether you put that in later or, as I'm saying, plan your build, guys. It's, I can't stress that enough. Um, uh, chassis accessories. All right. So we have all these parts here. Um, so there's 30 parts here of the chassis accessories. And then we have 29 parts. So you're looking... Average is 30 parts per section, Okay. Um, and then we have, but you can see here, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of detail in this kit. I, yeah, I underestimated um, this kit a long time ago. But now, looking at it, it's going to be quite a busy build with all this extra stuff I want to do to it. Um, yeah, mix of front drive options, mix of components. And then finishing off the model, we have assembly of the bowl or the drum and all the other things like your gob hoppers and all your shoots and I mean down here too it's if you if you build armored vehicles um, you, you're gonna love building this thing because the amount of weathering you can do on a concrete truck I mean highway trucks different but a concrete truck is uh, you can just trust me if you like mud effects and all that sort of stuff you know yeah, you're going to have an absolute field day with a concrete truck, which is why 
yeah, this is going to be fun. A lot of grease effects, wet effects, oil stains, it's grease stains. It's, yeah, you can go to town on this thing when it comes to weathering. Okay, so, yeah, and then, so that's everything. It's all the final assembly, and there's that paint prep. Uh, the paint map that I was telling you about, okay? So chuck it that in the box. And then we get to the decals. All right, so most of these I probably won't use because I'm probably going to use the Cricut to do my own, um, whether it's going to be airbrushed on or if I can find some really fine vinyl and I can make my own, like, yeah, company logos and stuff on the side because this will be a custom build so this is the idea of this model all right the decals are protected by a beautiful uh, piece of paper and wow okay so john r fuel transit mix so that's the company that this thing that this truck um is showing american flag all the different number plates Challenge, challenge. So there's really not, obviously there all your door, um, all the labels for your door, and then the bowl. Uh, normally the mixers normally have something like this just so you can look at it and visually see which way it's turning, um, whether it's in mix in mix or discharge. All right, so there are the decals. Don't know. These will probably be the spares sitting in sitting in my box so we'll see what happens with those and then off hmm, don't know if you can hear the rain outside it's raining cats and dogs that's another reason why i'm making this video i don't have to work today and they caught up so i don't have to go in can't deliver concrete when it's pissing down rain so looking at the kenworth and i'm let's zoom in zoom in come on zoom in um, so if you see that, that's, yeah, that's, how, that's how I'm doing it. But um, looking at the cab itself, I mean, just without any additional parts um, or detail or added parts to this cab, it's actually really nice because you can see all the all the riveting on the cab itself. So you, yeah, I've got to be very careful when I'm sanding this. Um, even on the back, there's all the riveting. And you can see the join where the roof goes on. Okay, because on a can work, that's actually a separate part. That's normally all fiberglass, um, metal doors, and the top's normally fiberglass, which they drop in as well. So, um, yeah, it's everything there. There's all your air filter cavities there. Oh, that's nice. It's really whoa. It's actually flogging down. Can you not sure you can hear that? In my in my window shut, mind you too. So that's where the I mean there's a bit of cleanup to to do. I mean I'm not phased about it, okay, so looking at it, even on the thing there's there's no weird ab abnormalities on the plastic that I can see. All right, so there we go. It's just uh, round by round two. Okay, so these are done by round two. All right, so there's the cab. We're gonna look at the. I'm, I'm gonna leave these in the bags, guys, because the wheels. Everyone's seen wheels. So these are. And I don't want to lose them. So these are the the vinyl wheels. Um, they don't have. What's it say here? hard to see in the light oh they're firestone wow okay firestone firestone tires on a concrete truck that's expensive um but <laughs> so there's some couple of little metal brackets let's say there for your rear axles um for your, for your drive wheels and that would be maybe for your hose water gun maybe Okay. Uh, what else can we look at? Clear parts. I'm not going to bring everything out, like the bulk of it I'll take out, but just all the delicate stuff I'm going to leave in the bag because um, I don't want these scratched either. So all your clear parts, all your headlight um, lenses and things like that. All right, hopefully there's some work lights. Um, so all your amber lights are 
are molded in the amber clear plastic and then all your stop and stop signals brake lights and things like that uh molded in the red okay so that's cool and let's have a look i mean the clear parts seem to be pretty clear i mean i can see those crosses um or the lines through that plastic even through a plastic bag as well so yeah thumbs up for clear plastic so pull this bag out That looks like part of the chute. Alright, so that's a bit of, bit of nothing. That's what I mean, that goes, oops, that goes there. So we just gotta be careful where that comes from. Um, yeah, right, eh? Let's have a look. Very flashy. Okay, so this is probably like a very old mold, so I'm not gonna pick that and say, no, it's it's only it's only flash it's, it can it can be cleaned off quite easily so i'm not stressed about that at all okay so there's your there's a drivetrain for the front so this is an old style um old truck so it actually runs off the chains chain driven okay now they're all pdo driven um mud guards or rear rear guards on the back of the over your drive wheels on the back so these gave you four tires if um and that, I'd say that's part of your housing for the mixer. So this is all mixer um, mixer sections. All right, so there's your water tank there. That's uh, all shoot. There's your, there's your gob hopper. That's all your materials going while you're getting loaded. And that'll be part for your shoot down the bottom. Okay, so yeah, that's really cool all this stuff back in there hope you can hear me over this rain um it's supposed to rain all day and then the other part looks like uh oh this is where your steer tires maybe on the front steer tires i mean i know my parts of the concrete truck but not on American, it's just everything looks so different. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, a lot of cleanup, so there's a lot of flashy flash stuff to clean off. The wheels don't look too bad. Uh, it looks like I can't see if that's an F. It looks like Firestone, maybe I'm just blind as a bat. Yeah, I think it looks like Firestone. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, it's cool that they've printed that. And I'm, I don't know, I'm a plastic, I'm a plastic or resin wheel person. I'm not a fan of like the vinyl tyres because I really like painting and weathering these up. So, yeah, you know, I like how they put like, the plastic wheels in the front. But that's just me personally, guys. Okay. So don't hate me for it. Right, so that's that part there. And then we get to... Let's have a look. What else is there? So we've got this sprue. And we've got that. And we've got a couple of other bags. We'll look that fast. Okay, so let's cut these open. This is the chassis. Oh my god. Why do this to me? The only thing I'm not really too happy about how this how it was packed, packaged, just roll it all in there. Okay, so carefully pull these out. Okay, so here's the floor. Okay, so we've got all like the the vinyl detail inside the cab or whether it's leather, depends on, I guess, on the individual, the buyer itself, what they wanted, leather or vinyl. So, yeah, the details are a bit soft on the side here on, in, on the door details. I don't, I don't think you can see it, but yeah, there. Just see how soft they are. So, you've got to be very careful when you paint it. A lot of flashing. I mean, look how bent, like twisted these parts are. It's like, is that just, ain't like, for the guys who build AMT all the time, is this just standard? Or is this because it's an old kit and have they improved? So, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. 
I'm curious. Okay, and then we got the dash. Oh no, it's not, that's the firewall, sorry. No, that's the firewall itself, so. So if you wanna have like a hood open, like a maintenance thing, you got details there, but it's pretty cool. Air filters, there's the engine. Yeah, that's only a tiny Cummins. That's a baby. <laughs> um, but it's textured. I don't know if you can fucking sh if I grab a tool. Um, how this cock toothpick works. Let's see, like you got smooth plastic where it doesn't make any sound. But then you've got all the casting, like all the casting details on the engine block itself. So, I mean, that's that's nice that they've done that. Um, but that's, yeah, that's cool. You need to be careful, that's really flimsy. That's supposed to be, yeah. So all your suspension, all your leaf springs, and they're still with all the, all the brackets around it. So yeah, the leafies are nice, very nice. Right, and then we have chassis rails. Look how warped these are. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, don't know, heat gun maybe. Bend it back a bit. Or we'll see how we go once all the bracing goes in and it might. But yeah, that's not cool. That's supposed to be one of the straightest parts of the vehicle is the chassis rail. So, AMT, what are you doing? <clears throat> So we've got here, we've got the radiator, and doesn't you don't seem to get a fan in with this, unless it's in another bag somewhere. Uh, or maybe you don't see it. They probably thought you won't see it, but yeah, got to be a radiator fan. Then we've got mud flaps, maybe for the front wheels, little flaps. Uh, ooh, what do we got? And just little odds and ends. Okay. Down here. Oh, and then we have another one. And there's the, the visor. There's your dash. I showed you the floor, but I didn't show you the the dash itself. So all the dials there. And I'm very surprised that you don't that you didn't get decals for the for the dash. I mean it doesn't it doesn't matter, but normally, yeah. Just been a little bit nitpicky, um, but then you've got all the wood grain. You can see it, and that, and that is a typical Kenworth thing. So, the wood grain finish on the dash, you can see it. And like the light just picks it up. Like so, you got all the the smooth part down here, and then just around all your instrument on your instrument panel itself, you can see like that wood grain finish. So that's really, really, really nice. But all the modern trucks now, it's just like a, a plastic with a, a wood grain print on it. Okay, so there. Not so much money there for this bag. We'll open it this way. Alright, so we're going to open this bag up. And this contains all the wheels. Wheels, the rear mud flaps, I believe. Yep, so the rear mud flaps go on the back of the truck. And it's actually got the Kenworth logo on it. Caution. With got some minor injector pin marks on the mud flap itself. So yeah, pain in the ass for that because you got to fill that. Or even better with a concrete truck, you can cover it with mud on the back and it's done. But if you really want to have a show, like a show pony, um, like a show truck, yeah, you're gonna have to clean those up or either scratch build your own and then cut that out glue that on whatever okay so or buy aftermarket stuff for it that's the other option we got the rims okay and there's quite a fair bit of flash inside the rims i don't know if you can see it if i can just bring in a bit more um like there you can see like inside all these holes there's like this flash inside you can clean up bit of a pain but all the diffs and look um, seem to all the diffs seem to look nice 
um, quite a fair bit of detail on. And once again, they've got that cast, that cast texture on there. Okay, so that cast textures there on these. Um, what else is there that I can show you? And the hubs, what are the hubs like? Yes, a little bit of clean up on the hubs here. Okay, so just there, and there's some black dust. That's crazy. There's dust inside the hub. <laughs> so there's that. All right. And there's only a few more bags to go. And then we've got the chrome parts. And I... Okay, so chrome parts. Ooh, and they're smart. They've actually lined these parts with some paper, protective paper in between. So the parts don't get scratched. But you can see the colour of the plastic. Um, see the colour of the plastic during the dipping process. You can see where they've clamped it. You know, dip. So they are white. So remember, another newbie tip. When you're working with chrome parts, you cut these off the sprue, you're going to have whatever plastic, because these all aren't chrome plastic. This is like the white plastic. Um, and you see all the residue and stuff from the chrome dipping on here. So whatever you cut, that plastic's going to show through. And then when you try and clean, sand it, even when you sand it, this chrome's going to come off. So I'll do another video of just stripping off this chrome. And then we'll definitely have a play with the um, SMS um, Hyper Chrome, or the Chrome series of their, of their paints. And we'll trial it on this. So this will be a good test run. I've actually never played with it, so that'll be yeah, something else to, like another video on this channel for us to have a look at. But the turntable, I have never in my life seen a turntable. Oh, I don't know if you Americans call it a fifth wheel, I think it is. I've never seen a chrome turntable. These are normally covered in grease, um, either painted red, you know, blue, black, whatever, and then all that's worn off, but you definitely don't see chrome turntables. Um, that is just, and there you go. And there's a the fan here for the radiator. You don't see chrome unless you're just full blinged out. And but this is a concrete truck, guys. The company isn't gonna buy a chrome um, radiator fan for the engine. It's gonna be like a a basic plastic um, one for the front. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely stripping off all this chrome, even for the wheels. Uh, like just. Trust me, like you're not going to have a truck this clean. Like they're not even this clean when they come out of the factory either. You've got to like polish them and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, bit of, I, I would have been happy with them um, casting this just in standard plastic. Um, you don't need to do all this stuff chrome because it's a concrete truck. Highway truck, yeah, you probably would, but non, you know, most times guys will strip strip the chrome off anyway um it looks more realistic i believe but each to their own everyone has their own opinion okay so there's that all the rims and yeah, like you know like all the you know the exhaust um all the stuff for the exhaust there that's just yeah i'll strip the chrome off and hopefully the more detail will uh come out of it okay so but yeah i mean it looks cool don't get me wrong but yeah it just it's not realistic okay and then we get to another bag of chrome parts which brings us to the front grill the bumper mirror arms hubs uh, we're really, yeah, stick shift that's chrome so like all this every all these parts are getting stripped like there's like I'm stripping both these sprues even the front grill um, so we've got steps where are you? so you can see especially too when you um, when they dip parts 
it's just so much of the detail is lost too. It's you, it's, un, it's not until you actually strip the chrome off and then the detail pops, especially with the grill. Could you imagine trying to put a wash through that? I mean, for, yeah, it just, it's a shame. It's a shame. Okay, so there's all your chrome parts. I like the grill there. The grill's cool. It's even got like the Kenworth logo and the, the red, so I like that. We like a lot. And here's the the centerpiece of the build is the mixer itself, the bowl, the drum, what do you want to call it? Two halves and I think oh, hang on. So it's actually pretty cool. So you're probably looking around about a five on yeah, it's like a five, six, five, six meter bowl on the back of it. All right. Ah, oh, Not going there, but that's, you get the idea. Don't seem to get any fins in this. So I like the screw that goes inside. So I may have to scratch build something, um, like on the inside. It's going to be tricky because, yeah, I've never done that. So, yeah, just to put something in there, just so you don't see, it's just a, yeah, that'll be just paint like a really dark grey and with black mottling through it just to make it look like it has something in there. Alright, so there's the bowl. That looks like... Well, there's the mixer frame itself, so that'll sit on top of the chassis. So hopefully having this, use this as a template, because this seems to be straight in the actual the chassis rails themselves. So probably use it as a template to straighten up the chassis, because that... Normally these bolt on, so maybe glue on, but I'll have to get actually brass rod and actually make my own brackets and yeah, to make it look like it's actually bolt. Otherwise, it looks like it would just be sitting there. So looks a bit unrealistic, but yeah. Uh, what else is there? We got challenge. Was it challenge Cook Brothers? I don't know what that is, guys. So tell me what that is. Is that um, yeah? Tell me what that is. I'm not too sure. Either I can just Google it myself and have a look. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, that's the contents of the box. There's really nothing else to show you. Um, that's everything for the AMT Kenworth Mixer concrete track. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you've got any comments or anything like that, feel free to comment down below. Um, and I will, I will get back to you because I do, um, I do get notified and I do answer, answer all the questions. So if you do have any questions, yeah, and don't forget to like this video. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you're ever in Mackay, drop in the Scarlet Auto's Hobbies in Shakespeare Street. So, yeah, and say good day to Shane for me. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time on Outback Mini Models. This is Clem signing out. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, well, main thing we do is a lot of die casts. We've got the biggest range of die casts around. No one comes near us for that. Also, the RC cars, the biggest range, I suppose, in town for that as well. Um, and your model kits, mate, we do it all. And then slot cars, yeah, everything. It's the most fun with your clothes on. Scale Auto's Hobbies in Shakespeare Street. A huge amount of fun stuff, including die cast cars, model kits, remote control cars, slot cars, collectibles, and so much more. You name it, we've got it. But not only just cars, but we do all model kits in. You've got tanks, planes, trucks, everything. So we do a lot. Even bit of train stuff. Got to treat everybody equal and give every, every customer the opportunity to find out what they want. And yeah, and it makes them happy. Most of them become friends. So. Scale Auto's Hobbies, the funnest shop in town.